Hi guys, it's Serena for Pretty Well Things. There's pumpkins in the background, I'm wearing a hat, and I have a cup of tea. That can only mean one thing. It is my October. It's not October, it's November. I'm just gonna leave that in. It's my November Betruce box, so one sec. Betruce. This is really heavy this month. Um, if you don't know what Betruce is, I've got two other videos and I'll link those at the end and in the info bar if you want to go check those out. But basically Betruce is a beauty box from France but they now deliver to the UK and um, you don't have to sign up so it's not like you get one every month. You literally go on their website every month and you can see what's going to be in the box and you can decide whether you want to buy it or not. The great thing about this box is that everything is a full size product. This one is £19 this month and as usual we're going to tot up the total of how much it's actually worth as we go along. So let's have a little looky. So this is what it looks like as usual with the paper and everything. I hope I'm not too dark, I can't actually see you because I'm in the shade kind of, um, anyway. So when I open it, it looks like this. I've got the little sheet here that tells you everything that's in it and it also tells you a little bit about this month's box. So it says, Dear Betruce Girls, we're really proud to present to you our Betruce Pretty Beauty. Are you ready to be a pretty woman? Pretty woman. Um, then it tells you about what's in it and um, we'll do that as we go along. So let's see. The first thing we've got here is this little leaflet type thing talking about what I assume is one of the products. Here it is. This little box, well, quite a big box actually, here. It says, Cupcake Organic Divine Skincare. Cupcake Organic is an elegant range of organic moisturisers that nourish your skin with fruit, nut and flower essential oils. Presented in a stunning translucent jar, they will light up your shells with luminescent jewel-like colours. So there's one, two, three, there's four different types, uh, four different flavours I'm assuming. And I've got here frankincense, ooh, very Christmassy, and orange repairing day cream, which is perfect for me. I always look out for kind of repairing moisturisers, like the Lizzo one that I just reviewed on my blog, if you want to read that below. So it looks like this, it's suitable for vegetarians, um, and it's got 30 millilitres in, which is a pretty decent size. This is quite heavy, it's made of glass. Uh, I'll get closer so you can see it. So it looks like this, Cupcake Organic, and then it's in this kind of like see-through orange jar, and it says frankincense and orange repairing day cream with lemongrass, ginger, and vanilla bean. Protects and repairs for mature skin. So I don't have mature skin, but surprisingly doesn't smell of anything at all. It looks like this inside, so you can see it's kind of like a a stiff moisturiser. Doesn't really smell of much, which I guess is okay since it's a day cream. I don't want my face smelling like orange for a whole day. Yeah, interesting. So that's quite cool. A nice moisturiser, which is perfect for these really cold days and months and most of the years in England. So on here it says, where is that? Cupcake Organic, uh, you could have either got the Blue Tansy and Lavender Balancing Day Cream or the Frankincense and Orange Day Cream, which is the one I got. 30 millilitres and it's worth 16 pounds. So we'll keep that up there. Next, okay. Paper, paper, poodoo, I don't know. Looks like this and it flips up, I think. Oh, okay, so it's got three, three of the same thing, powdered paper, oh, I think it's blotting paper, I've never had blotting paper before. The natural ingredients have special absorbent qualities for cleansing the pores, lifting oil, dust and dirt from the skin and soak up excess oils. That's really cool, I've never had any um, like blotting, blotting paper, whatever it's called. So there's three of those and there's actually like a load of paper in here. Each one has got like loads. So there's three of those. Let's see. Gift pack of three booklets. Each booklet has 
65 sheets in, which is insane, and that is worth £7.95, so let's add that on. This would be, if you got this box, these would be really good to like break up and give to your friends, I think, because there's like enough paper in there to last me forever, because it's not like I'm going to use them every day. So that's really cool. I've never had that kind of thing before. Next, oh, this looks interesting. Ooh, it's like a jelly thing. <laughs> um, Yavos Rocha Culture Bio. That's in French. Ah, refreshing gel cleansing with organic aloe vera. 98% natural origins and no parabens. This is 200 millilitres, which is pretty big. It looks like this. And as you can see, it's kind of like all bubbly inside, which is cool. Uh, let's see what this is. Organic Refreshing Gel Cleanser. So, where's the English? Here we go. Uh, removes your makeup in one simple step thanks to the Micula Gel Cleanser with Organic Aloe Vera, a powerful moisturising agent. It's fresh, texture smooth on the skin for perfectly clear skin. I'm always up for a new um, makeup remover testing thing so this will be interesting to use and see what I think. Aloe vera is usually quite soothing on the skin. Smells very fresh um, and this is worth £11 so let's add that on. Nice. God there's so much stuff in here this is insane. Okay um, next is this which is not in English. Uh, let's see on this side here we go. It's a natural and efficient anti-aging with omega-6 and omega-3. It hydrates and softens the skin for perfect anti-aging and gets rid of scars from acne. Perfect. Um, that's great. So this is for anti-aging and for acne scarring, which has totally cheered me up because, yeah. So I was thinking, oh, another anti-aging product. I can't use that. But if it's for, um, it says scars left from acne or chicken pox. So that's perfect. This is 100%, um, I think it says argan oil. I think in French, I think it says argan oil, 100% argan oil. Um, you can put it in your hair. Uh, towards the ends, um, you can put it on your face, so yeah, I think it's pretty much like an argan oil. And this says, um, Arganti, 100% pure argan oil, 60 millilitres, and this is worth £10, which is a really reasonable price, again, add that on there. So, let's have a look what it looks like inside. Ooh, interesting, so it's in a glass bottle again, and it looks like that. Can't wait to try that out and see what it does for my face. Hopefully it's not too oily. Next, what's this? Ultra Comfort uh, Hydrate uh, Shea Butter and Coconut Oil Green Tea and Sweet Almond. But what is it? What's it for? Oh, it's a body lotion. This body lotion is formulated to provide maximum hydration to dry skin. Again, perfect for winter. Um, the important blends of vitamins and minerals in this lotion instantly relieve dryness, replenish depleted moisture and boost skin's own moisture barrier. So it looks like this. It's a really, really big sample. There is 250 milliliters in here. Again, it's not tested on animals. Um, let's see. That's pretty cool. So, what's this one called? Do, 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 do. Found it. <laughs> I'm looking everywhere then. Okay, so you could have either got the body moisturizing lotion for all skin types or the body moisturizing lotion for dry skin. And I think I got the one for dry skin, which is perfect for me because my skin is dry. 250 milliliters, and this is worth £13.50. So add that on up there. That's a really decent price, I think, for something like this. Um, the packaging is pretty simple, but I mean, look how massive it is. It's like as big as my head. So, interesting. There's still a lot of things in here. So, let's go with this. Um, ah, now, this is an anti-aging wrinkle cream, but I can always pass this on to the mother. Let's see. Anti-wrinkle cream for all skin types. Apply morning and or evening. Um, it's got plant 
extracts in it all about jazz looks pretty good um let's open it and have a look it's got instructions oh it looks posh so it looks like this Karasi radiance anti-aging cream and it's got saffron flower in it oh it's got a pump which we always like can't smell anything but i don't want to pump any out so that's worth let's see whoa 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 okay okay so this is the radiance anti-aging cream it's 30 milliliters and it's worth 47 pounds ka-ching so i think i'll be giving this to the mother to try she has got the other beetroose boxes that i had anti wrinkle cream and i've given them to her as well so she quite likes those so it'll be good to see what she thinks of this 47 pounds is insane considering you're paying 19 pounds for the box that is less than just this product never mind everything else so i don't know what the total is up to at the moment but uh, yep so that's really cool and there's two more things in here oh there's three more things in here oh my god okay um this is again by the um yves rocha which is the one that this is by and it's a lip uh plumper um i don't really need a lip plumper as my lips are pretty big anyway um it says it's in pink but this looks well, i guess it kind of looks pink but it mostly looks red sexy pulp volume gloss wow that's expensive for a lip gloss so this is 10 milliliters and it's worth 13 pounds 90. so let's take off the little thing here and see what it's like i don't really use lip glosses that much because i just don't because i have so much hair and it's so kind of like cold and windy in England. My hair just gets stuck to my face just constantly. Even if it's like a non-sticky formula, I just, I can't stand it. So I don't really, I mean, I have lip glosses, but I don't really tend to use them. So let's have a look. I hope it smells minty. I love ones that smell of mint. Oh God, what is that? It's like strawberry. Oh, it's got one of those really cool, um, like flat applicators let's have a look it's got a tiny amount of shimmer in it but nothing too over the top i guess that's what kind of makes your lips look a little bit plumper so it's just like a ready pink color it's nice but i don't know if i'll use it just because i don't really use um lip gloss but we'll see so we shall see so that's worth 13 pounds 90 so the next, well the last two things, let's go with this first because this looks a little bit weird. It is a Vera Valentini uh, eyeshadow and you could have either got the pink set or the grey set. Um, and it seems I got the pink set. So this is only worth £2 um, and it's 10 grams. It is only worth £2 but I don't know. Like I use... I. I do use eyeshadow on a daily basis, but I usually just use kind of brown in the crease and like um, a neutral colour on the lid. But again, I have been trying to use a lot more purples and there is two purples in here. So these are all shimmery colours and it looks like this. Oh, I lost the thing. So there's kind of like a, a neutral and a black here and then it just kind of goes round to like a purple. So let's have a look at the pigment. That's a pretty colour that's pretty good i'm not not impressed i'm not um disappointed with it obviously it's only two pounds but considering the amount of other stuff that i've already got um i think that's pretty decent ish so that is only worth two pounds add that on the last product here is a saffron london cracking nail polish again this is only worth 75 pence so not high end but a lot of these products i mean we've got something for 47 pounds which is not something you'll get in like glossy box or she said beauty or jolly box or whatever it's called so it's a crackling nail polish and it's in black and i do have a couple of these and i don't really like using crackling nail polishes they just don't suit me at all so i might give this to my sister um but yeah it's a nice little addition um 
can't complain. So that is, I think, everything in here. What's this? Ooh, a pamphlet. This is quite a big, um, like, magazine. Oh, this is really cool. It's about the brand um, Yves Rocher, which is this one, and the lip gloss. Um, let's see. This stuff actually looks really nice. It talks about how they work with people um, in different countries and help them earn money. It's a little bit like an Avon catalogue this, so I might have to look through this and maybe dabble a little. So that is um, the box and I think it's worth somewhere around, um, let me just check and let's see if I'm correct in my adding up skills. £122 mark-ish, I think, which is just insane. So you pay £19, you pay postage, and then you receive £122 of product. Each month, you can look on the website and see whether you want to buy the box or not. There's no commitment. You don't have to sign up for, like, every single month, which I think is really, really nice and kind of original idea, considering some of the... Some boxes you sign up and you don't know what you're going to get and you're just really disappointed. Whereas this, you know what you're going to get first hand. Um, I mean, there might be some variations. Um, for example, the Cupcake Organic. Um, you could have got the blueberry or the orange and you don't know which one you're going to get. But overall, you kind of know what you are going to get, if that makes any sense. So, yes, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave below what products you like using in the winter months. Um... If you are going to a bonfire tonight, please stay safe. Okay, I'm going to take this off because it's really itching me. Ah. So, yes. I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy my pumpkins in the background here. Ooh. Um, that one is the Cheshire Cat from Alice Madness Returns. That's my sister's and that's mine with the heart eyes. Um, yes, so I will see you in my next video. I have filmed a video before this yesterday about my experience at the Harry Potter Studios and that will go up very soon when I've got all the pictures together. So look out for that. Um, I did mention in my last video about um, some Christmas DIYs and I've had some great suggestions like Christmas cookie videos, like um, homemade decorations so if you have any more ideas please let me know and i'll write them all down and try and do as many as possible because i'm really trying to get to more diys because they're my favorite kind of videos to film i just have to plan them properly because i never plan my videos i just sit down and i'm like hi i'm gonna talk about stuff and you're gonna listen hopefully so i'm gonna go and i will see you in my next video bye